All right, guys, welcome once again. This is Kelly from Bond Machines, and today I'll be reviewing the Brother Pace Setter Super Deluxe Swim Machine. Okay, I want to thank all my subscribers and those that buy these machines from me. Thank you so much, guys. Those that watch my videos, thank you so much. I really appreciate everything. All right, so quickly, I'll look at the features of this machine and also do some couple of stitches as always with the machine. All right, so this is a Super Deluxe Swim Machine and it has some interesting features. Firstly, it has a double tress stand you can use for your twin needle. And right here, you have the control for the foot up pressure. It has a silk, cotton, linen, I think a wool coat and donning. And also here, this two um, knobs here is for selector for this um, designs. Okay, if you look closely here, there's a cursor here and it has about 20 different design with an uh, automatic button holder. Okay, I'll walk through that in a moment. And also right here you have the bobbin winder. And if you come down here, you have the stitch length regulator. It goes from all the way from zero to about four. All right. And right here, if you want to use a twin needle, that's for this part here. So right here, it has a punch in reverse mechanism. So you just push this in and you're actually reversing or back stitching um, the design or the stitch you're sewing. Right here, it has a needle position, which is the LMR, L for the middle, L for the left, middle and the right. So you just push that this way and you're going to um, the LMR, okay? Right here, it has the um, selector for the straight stitch and also that for the zigzag so once it's on this area here you're sewing the regular stretch but immediately move this um spring um, loaded mechanism here and use this cursor to hold it you're sewing the zigzag um or any of the stitches to select all right so well, i'll talk through this i'll walk through, through this in a moment okay right here you have the um control for the feed dog which is this here okay it has the the don, it has the norm, it has a thick fabric. So this here, right here is the indicator. This black um, line you see here is the indicator. Okay, it uses the regular um, shuttle and the bobbin mechanism and uses all type of needle. Okay, right here you have the tension. So I'll walk you through how to wind the bobbin and also how to um, do stitches with the machine. Okay, in winding the bobbin from the thread stand, Okay, you just um, pass this through here. There's a spring loaded mechanism on this point here. It's actually what stretches the thread. So you make sure it goes inside the uh, that that point there. Then you put your bobbin on the bobbin winder and you just take some turns around it clockwise and you push this towards the then when you hit the footer. So when you've got a number of wands you want to just flip this then backward and you take it out all right so in treading the machine from the tread stand from here right you just take it all the way down to this point there's a small spiral stuff here you just pass that through there okay and all the way you raise the of course you have to raise the um, footer up so you can pass through the tension plates so make sure it goes in neatly there and from there take the tread up to the tread take up and then From the tread take up, then it goes all the way to this point here and this point here, and you tread from front to back. So I'm gonna walk you through the treading process again, it's quite easy. From the tread stand, you can use any one of the tread stand there. You just take that all the way from there to this um, spiral point here, take it all the way from there to there, then pass it through the tension, goes all the way up through the tread take up, then down to this point here, to this point here, then you tread from front to back. So I'm gonna tread the needle and also um, do stitches to the machine right now. Okay guys, I already threaded the needle. Now for the regular straight stitch, okay, um, you have, okay, you need to, this has to be on the four, I'm using the highest stitch length, which is number four there, and this has to be on zero, which is the um, regular, for the regular straight sewing. So, and this cursor, there's a, I see that white cursor has to be on this M here. Okay, you see that M? So it has to be there. So when I sew through now, all right, so when I sew through, okay, so there you have it. That's the regular straight stitch. 
and that's the front of the stitch okay I believe you can see that all right so now you can actually reduce the stitch length further okay like i always do i can just take this all the way down to two and when i sew through all right so there you have it that's a much more reduced stitch length let me take that off okay you see that so now I want to show um, the other designs. Like I told you, the machine has other decorative designs, which is on the chart there. So I just start with the M. So what I just do basically is I'll just come here, since it's on M, I just come here, pull this lever to five, and I use this to hold it. It tends, tends to hold the other one in place. So when I hold it now, and when I sew through, I want to take this all to 1.5 and... So there you have it that's the zigzag design okay okay you can also check the back of the fabric see that so now you can also so um reduce the stitch length further and so other designs so i'll just be walking through that why you're watching how i change it all right so now i'm sewing um just go all the way to number 18. all right so take this down here Eighteen. So take to one. All right. So that's number eighteen. All right. So that's eighteen. All right, so I'm already gonna put this. I already put this on 16, so I'm saying number 16. See that cursor on 16. So once I sew through now, design. So I'll just go through all the way to let's say 13. Let me use 13. All right, so. say 10 all right so so in number 10 see that that's number 10 all right so i just want to go all the way down to number four all right so i'm saying number four so I'm just combining different designs here okay so you can see the progression of the designs from 16 13 4 and all that so when you get the machine you can also try out some fabulous design use different thread and you're gonna come out amazing so I think I'll just go to number let's say number two let's just see how that comes out wow amazing Alright, so there you have it. That's number two. Pretty amazing. Okay, so when you get the machine, do your own chart, do your own design. It's really, really pretty interesting to work with and, you know, create some outstanding, amazing designs with. Alright, so now it has a buttonhole feature, which I told you earlier in the video. Uh, and to do that, you just have to press this down and you go all the way to the buttonhole part. Okay, so when you do that, it has A, B, C, D, and I'll just walk you through in a moment how to do that. Okay, for the button holder, okay, like I said, it has A, B, C, D. The A part is for the downside button hole, the B is for the left hand side, the C is for the closing top, and the D is for the closing part. So, this is how you change it from A, 
just press this down it goes to b press this down go to c press this down go to d all right so and um, that's how you um create your buttonhole with the brother page setter sewing machine all right so guys basically um i think that's that about that there's the brother page setter super deluxe sewing machine thank you so much guys for watching my videos and god bless you